Hey yo, the rain was steady pouring, heard the drops and drizzle meant to be Shelling in my crib, no doubt, peep the scenery Telephone rang, then it stopped before I could answer it I heard a knock at the door, so I answered it And with Jermaine, he had a little situation Beef up on the block, an orthodox that led the confrontation He said these cats be acting hard on the block And they be pumping, waiting, holding, so Dwayne got shot Now see, Dwayne was just a knucklehead, but still with his cousin and I be What's going on guys, welcome back to another video This one is a little bit shorter I wanted to get this one out really quick just to show you guys where we're at with our new coil pack plate. You guys have seen the other videos where I have made, I think I've done two videos now, two separate coil pack plates. The first one was complete garbage. Metal was too thin, so when you push the coil packs on, the metal would just bow and it just was horrible. The other ones were these. So there's two of these, three coil packs on one, three on the other. At the time, I couldn't get the a long enough piece of aluminum for the top of the head, and now I do. And this is what we're working with. These are the new coil pack plates here. You can see it is a now solid piece from the front all the way to the back. And there's even a cutout in the back for the coolant hose that comes off the back of the head and no piece in the middle. So this video is kind of more of an advertisement. We have worked somewhat hard on getting these plates to fit up right on these motors and now we have them. We are offering to sell these plates for 150 bucks a piece. You guys will get a raw plate. So this is it right here, just raw aluminum. And you'll get all the hardware, you'll get the bolts, the standoffs, everything you need to bolt this plate right to the top of the 7M head. We're actually trying to decide how we wanna do this. The bolts here, you can see that plug right there. Those plugs, you have one of those on a 7M head. You do not get two of those. So we're trying to decide if one bolt would be enough to hold or to secure the whole plate down to the top of the uh, head. Now you can see how it's kind of bolted in. It rests right on the edge of the valve covers. So it's centered up. It sits just below flush of the valve covers and all the coil packs are lined up perfect. They go right on top of the spark plugs with no issues. And we designed it so the holes for the coil packs are a little bit bigger than the stocks on the quill pack itself. So you have a little bit of leeway to try to line the quill packs up and then you'll have one bolt. All these are all threaded. So we'll go through and we'll thread each one of these. You'll get a standoff that'll go underneath the quill packs to line them all up, which will give you the correct spacing. So you see they'll sit right here. So the quill packs loose right now, but the standoff will go inside there. The bolt will go through. All the hardware that comes with the quill pack plates all stainless steel and it'll be all Allen bolts. So you'll get the Allen bolt that will go into the those little plugs in the top of the head, and then you'll get the Allen bolts for the coil packs. We will offer the powder coating. So if you guys do want to pay a little bit more, we don't know what colors, it might be just kind of as you go. So if you want like black, whatever, it may raise the price of the coil pack plate up just a little bit. So if you do want some crazy color, it will be a little bit extra for your plate just to make up for the anodizing. So if you guys are interested in these plates, I've already sent out a little uh, poll on Instagram and I think I've got like five or six people that are already interested. I've already shipped one set, the plates are all cut, everything's ready to go. We got the bolts, hardware, everything, that will be shipped with your order. So like I said, 150 bucks plus shipping, whatever your shipping is, we'll, we'll ship wherever UPS or USPS will allow us to ship to. But we will do it for you if you're interested. So hop over to my Instagram. I'll put the uh, link in the description. Just shoot me a message if this is something that you want. So again, this is for the 7M Supra. We are working on a 2J setup, and if we can get our hands on a 1J to mock up, we will do that as well. So again, 150 bucks plus shipping. We'll get you the plate, hardware, everything you need, and they will only be for the 1ZZ coils, which is pretty popular for this car. But that being said, if there's anything else that you guys would like, any other coil packs that you're trying to run on your car, message me. I will go out and I will buy or I'll try to source the coil pack that you're running and we'll go back to the drawing board. And we'll try to accommodate every coil pack you guys are trying to run on your Supra. Just let me know. And again, if you guys are interested, just message me on Instagram. That's how we're doing it for right now. And we'll look at different payment options like Venmo, PayPal, whatever it's going to be. But something that you're interested in and you want to help support the channel and support the build here, it's a great way to... I guess donate, you do get something in return, which is pretty cool. Again, this won't work on just the factory 7M. If you're running still all factory electronics, this is not gonna work. You've gotta have a forward facing intake manifold and you've gotta have the 1ZZ coils on a standalone ECU. This plate will work just fine for you. So message me, tell me what you guys think. We're trying to get some feedback. We cut all these plates out and now we're trying to see if there's a better way to 
fit them or if there's something that we need to go back to the drawing board, redesign, whatever. We're still in, in the design mode right now, but they fit up just fine. And you can see here, they're all there nice and clean. They're just not bolted down, but that's where it's going to sit. And that's how it's going to look. And even if you have still the um, like non-deleted valve covers. So if you've like, if you've got the straight valve covers, it'll be perfect. If you have the non, you will have a little space right there, but they will fit. Oh, the only other disclaimer is with these, these plugs. You have four of them on the top of your 7M head. They're just like an oil plug, little whatever plug. That's all it is, it's just like a big Allen bolt plug. On the back of the head, you have one of these that's actually threaded comes from factory that way. I actually didn't know this until one of you guys mentioned it to me and I was like, oh, that's awesome. I don't have to drill and tap these, which I've done, but you do have one that's already done for you. Our plates will require you to take the back one off and either replace it with one of the other ones so you get positive pressure with the bolts to hold the plate down. We don't want to put a bolt in through the back because you have a ton going on back there with that coolant hose coming off the back of the head. We don't want to put a bolt back there because you just, it'll be a nightmare. So you will need to pop that plug out and just swap it with one of the other three. They're all the same thread pitch, everything, it fits. There's the plug and it's the one that it was already threaded from the factory. The bolt goes right in there, no problems. There's also going to be a standoff here, a little aluminum sleeve that's going to make that look a little bit nicer and you'll be set. So however you plan on doing it, that's the one thing that, because we're going to run out of these plugs. I've got a bunch of extra ones that I'm going to drill and tap, but eventually we're not going to be able to sell them because we'll be out of these. So you guys will have to utilize the plug that's already in your head, which is perfect and works just fine, but that's the only thing you're going to have to change. Now one other idea that we have that we're kind of throwing around would be the same exact plate with no holes in it, minus the ones that you used to bolt it in. So the plate would just be flat plate. That would be if you're running like the IS300 coils, the three with the three wires. If you're doing that and you want to just kind of clean it up, this plate will sit over the top of all that and make it look almost like kind of like a 1J. So, or a 2J, it'll just be an aluminum plate. And again, we would offer powder coating or anodizing with that as well. So it should be a straight plate. It would obviously accommodate the coolant hose on the back of the head, but it would cover up all the stuff on the top. So it would make it flush with your valve covers. So again, guys, if this is something you're interested in and you have the application for it and you want to help the channel out a little bit, feel free to uh, go to the link in the description below, which will send me over to my Instagram page and you can order the plates through there. Just let me know what you want. If you want it anodized, if you want it powder coated, put that in there and I'll have to readjust the price for you just to make up for the coating that's going to go on there. And other than that, if you don't want to get it coated, like I said, it's just a raw aluminum. You can spray paint it, you can do whatever you want, and they'll probably still look just fine, but they won't rust, they won't have any other issues with that. So it's up to you what you want to do with it. Once you purchase it, it's yours to do whatever you want with. Whether you want to hang it on your wall or actually run on your Supra, you're welcome to do whatever you'd like. Thanks for watching the video, thanks for tuning in. I'm trying to think of how we can get this out there for you guys to run these on your car because I know that there are other guys out there running the same exact setup, looking for the same exact thing. That's why I did these, that's why I built these. Uh, my buddy was a genius and he basically designed it all while we sat there in the garage and we started cutting them out and they look awesome. Yeah, hopefully I'll get some of you guys interested. And if that's the case, we'll get them out to you as soon as possible and you guys will not regret it. And with that, we'll see you guys on the next one. Hey, yo, the rain was steady pouring, heard the drops, it fizzled meant to be. Chilling in my crib, no doubt, peep the scenery. Telephone rang, then it stopped before I could answer it. I heard a knock at the door, so I answered it. And with Jermaine, he had a little situation. Beef up on the block, an the doctor led the confrontation. He said these cats be acting hard on the block. And they be pumping, waiting, holding, so Dwayne got shot. Now, see, Dwayne was just a knucklehead, but still with his cousin. And I'll be wrong if I ain't helping when his beef, he gon' rush. And he said, listen, listen, homie, ain't no time for discussion.